In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate muscle energy for the innominate, specifically for inflare dysfunctions and outflare dysfunctions. Uh, so we're going to start with our patient in a supine position. So go ahead and lay down for me. And we're going to demonstrate both of these uh, instances on the right side. So first, um, if we had a right inflare, we first have our patient uh, move to the edge of the table. Good. We're going to stand on the same side as the dysfunction. We're going to bend the knee and the hip, have the ankle cross across the uh, opposite knee, and then we're going to allow the leg to fall out, essentially abducting and externally rotating the hip. We're going to take our other hand and stabilize the contralateral ASIS, and then allow the knee to fall out until we feel and meet a restricted barrier. This now places the innominate in a relatively outflared position, which is our barrier of motion for an inflared dysfunction. So from here, we're going to ask our patient to go ahead and lift this knee up and across to your left. Go ahead and push up. And as they push up, we're going to provide an isometric resistance stabilizing the pelvis as well as the knee, and then relax. They're going to relax, and we're also going to relax, maintaining that position, wait a few moments, and then gently move to the next restrictive barrier. Go ahead and push again. And relax. And we pause. And we move to the next restrictive barrier. And then go ahead and push one more time. and relax, and pause, and move to the next restricted bear. We'd continue this for a total of three to five times, and then we would return our patient to neutral, and then we'd reassess for our somatic dysfunction. Now, if instead we had an outflared somatic dysfunction with our ASIS relatively lateral and our PSIS relatively medial, we'd start with very much the same position, but reverse it. So we have an outflare dysfunction. We want to position it in an inflared position. So flex the knee, flex the hip. We're going to bring our ankle across the other side. And now we're going to take our other hand, which is our cephalad hand, and reach behind the innominate to find the PSIS. We're going to hook our fingers medial to the PSIS, bring the knee a little bit more into flexion until we get to a little bit closer to 90 degrees. And then we're going to add a little bit of adduction until we meet the restrictive barrier. Now here we're going to ask our patient to push their knee out. So push your knee out to the right side. Okay, go ahead and push. We're going to provide an isometric resistance. Three to five seconds and then relax. When they relax, we relax, maintaining the position. And then gently move to the next restricted barrier. And then go ahead and push again and then relax. They relax, we relax, wait a few moments, move to the next restricted barrier, and then go ahead and push. And then relax. And once we've completed this cycle for three to five times, we're gonna return our patient to a neutral position, and then we reassess the pelvis for somatic dysfunction.